Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure as usual. Always being out in nature and bringing this message of emancipation to you. This message that would set you free if you will only follow the instructions that I'm giving to you whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover your identity to be your divinity. Thus the reason why I'm not speak to you concerning how to discover the author and finisher of your faith or the secret of the author and finisher of your faith. But before I do that, I have to lay the foundation or the basis of my teachings to you because you can be someone new to this channel and listening to what I'm saying for the very first time. Now my teaching is that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically that the Bible is not literal neither is the Bible secular history for the Bible is written symbolically and it has no reference to anyone that existed thousands of years ago or to any actual event that took place upon earth thousands of years ago from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22 it's all a great psychological drama so it's all about the human psyche Therefore, the Bible is your own biography. It is your, it's the whole anatomy of your body. That's the reason why I always point you to look inwardly and to operate in your creativity. Now, when the Bible states that you are the author and finisher of your soul, I believe in, in, in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 12, okay, it tells you that you are the author and finisher of your faith okay now those who want to keep who wanted to keep you in a perpetual state of slavery they put the name of an idol to the greatest experience that anyone can experience in this world and that greatest experience is coming to the experience of having the virgin birth which is awaken within yourself and giving birth to the skull and discover your Christ self your higher self there are many people who are speaking about their Christ self their higher self but many have never had that experience and the experience is not one to boast about because it's all about grace. There's nothing you can actually say you do that would allow you to have this experience. And I'm saying all of this because I would have experienced the birth from above, the birth from, a, from the skull, the born again experience. That's how I know that the virgin birth, when they tell you about Mary, the way they present it to you, it's a chicory. That's how no one in this world can tell me anything otherwise. Because I know the truth. And you're told that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Now, if you listen to me, you will realize one thing I normally uh, base upon is the divine law of reproduction. I even wrote a book on it called, called Can't Be Proven Wrong by Any Christian. Now the divine law of reproduction is that every seed and every species must reproduce after its own kind. Therefore, if you are listening to me and you are vibrating with me or resonating, what I'm saying is resonating with you. This is what I am saying. Because I would have awakened from the dream of life. If you connect with me, you can come into certain experiences also. Because the seed will bring forth the same fruit. Now, if you listen to someone who just an intellectual parrot who just regurgitating things and just imitating and just saying things from an intellectual perspective and very say egotistical, that is what they will produce also because there's so much information on the internet and people feeding on so much different diets. That some people becoming confused. But I am saying all of this to tell you 
Now, if right now you vibrate to this channel and you're hearing my voice and what I'm saying to you, it is making sense to you and it's reaching out to you, I'm letting you know what kind of seed this starts from. Because if I didn't have the ball from the skull and actually writing a book called The Secret Vagina and I would have already done a, a lecture on it, but I, I see I decided to write the book because I want to put I want to give even more information on it. And that lecture is on, uh, on Amazon Prime. I think the name, The Secret Vagina or The Two Vagina. I think it's The Two Vagina. The Secret Vagina. But I think when I was speaking on it, I said The Two Vagina. Okay? So, yes. And it been for me having that experience. I wouldn't have been here speaking to you because I'm not an intellectual I, I, I do not have scholarship. I, I want to say scholarship. I'm speaking about the people who read so many books. And they're so eloquent. I'm not like that. I've, I would have had the greatest experience that anyone can experience in this world. I was willing to share it with the world. It have allowed me to say, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave. Where is thy victory? And to say, the system, to say to the system, your fear strategy can't work on me. Your shame and game can't work on me. Your guilty game can't work on me. Because I have overcome your strategy. When you awake, my brother and my sisters, that's how you come to know that you are the author and you are the finisher of your faith. That's the reason why you've been instructed in Habakkuk chapter 2 that you must write down your vision, that which you so desire. And even if it tarries, you must wait. Why? Because you are the author. And when you write it down, you must write it in the present tense. And when you write it in the present tense, you must affirm it. And the reason why he says that you are the finisher because you shall manifest it and you shall come in contact with the thing that you so envision. And that is what is referred to that when it says and that the world became flesh and we handled him. And most people believe that him to be the idol that was given to them because they believe in the virgin board story as literal and as secular history the way it was fed to them by those who wanted to keep you in a perpetual state of mental slavery so my brother and my sisters you are the author you are the finisher you're the apparent power you use that power activate that power how are you going to activate that power you have to find time for meditation you have to find time with yourself. You have to find time to look within. You have to, you have, to have a time of isolation. You have to cut yourself away from all attachment. Because attachment is, 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 is the... Uh, uh, I, I, I'm looking for the word. The root of our suffering, yes. Attachment is the root of all suffering. So if you hold to too much attachment, you will not be able to discover that you are the author and finisher of your faith. For faith is the substance that things hope for and the evidence of things not seen. Teaching you that everything that is visible came from the invisible. Teaching you that there is an invisible substance. And when you act upon belief, and that invisible substance, it becomes your reality. But you have to see it in your mind's eye. You have to see it through the eye of God. Because God is your own human imagination, which is the creator in man. Therefore, you are instructed to see things through the eye of God by closing the door, according to Matthew 6.6. 6. And the door is not speaking about something outside of yourself. The door is speaking of your eye. You're seeing me from within. You're hearing me from within. And he's saying to you, shut off all these things that you're seeing on the outside. 
because it is within and look within and realize that if you can think of it it is because it is already existed everything you see is already existed so if you see a certain vehicle that you would like to possess it is because it already existed and exists within you because it had to first be a thought in someone's mind it had to first be an idea it was first imagine if you see a million ten million dollars a hundred million dollars four hundred million dollars five hundred million dollars if you see oprah own that if you see tony robbins own that kind of money if you see warren buffett own that kind of money it is because it exists and where does it exist it exists within and because it exists within and they have the same power like you and you have the same power like them because the power that is putting you to sleep and waking you up is the same power that is putting them to sleep and waking them up they have to go in the toilet and take down their pants and take a shit you have to go in the toilet and take down your pants too and take a shit so it's showing you there's only one power there's only one mind but just different arrangement of the same mind so my brother my sisters I'm encouraging you to get any frequency of knowing that you are the author and the finisher of your faith. Because everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. And a thought is a vibrational frequency. So this is your time to act upon that which you've been given. Because you're told that you must be a doer and not just a hearer. So take action. It, it isn't hard to get pen and paper and write down your deepest desire and believe in yourself and embrace yourself and know that all things are possible to them that believe. For you're told with God, all things are possible. And if you believe that God is a power outside of yourself, you would say that all, with God all things are possible, but with you, you wouldn't believe that all things are possible. But in one part of the scripture, he says that with God all things are possible. Then he said to you, if you can believe, all things are possible to them that believe. Which is saying that when you discover that God is in you and that all to God all things are possible, you will realize all things are possible to you because God and man are one and God is your own human imagination, the creator in man. That's the reason why you're told in St. John 1 and 3 that all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made that him is not a man that existed 2000 years ago that you want to give your creative power to that him is a personification of your own human imagination which is the creator in every man so it also you 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 tell me of the richest man in the world and everything that he possessed it had to be false at all it had to false be imagined so my brother and my sister, it's how you see yourself. It's the perception that you hold of yourself. And you remember, your perception is a faculty that has been given to you. It's a faculty that you're born with. It is not something that was given to you by education. Because they try to make you believe that education is the key to success in life. When it is imagination. Because the bench, the, 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 the desk, the, the pencil, the pen, the book, the building, the blackboard, all of these things that they used to teach you to bring in a place of limitation, to just keep it in memory only, it all was first imagined, first an idea in someone's mind. So that mental faculty that you born with, which is perception, you have to be in control of your perception. You have to be in control of your will. You have to be in control of your reasoning. You have to be a logical person. You have to be an open-minded person. You have to be in control of your memory. You have to learn to memorize those things that are going to lift you in a higher place. Instead of remembering those things that are keeping you to live in the lower self. Also, you have to learn to trust your, your intuition. Your inside teacher. Which is basically your God power, your, 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 your infinite teacher, your divine teacher that's going to teach you to experience 
And also, you have to learn to exercise your mind by using your imagination, which is the creator in man, which is God in man. Just like how a man would have to go in the gym and lift weights to build his muscles like this. So too, you have to build the muscles of your mind by exercising your mind. Find time. What they do, they keep you so busy with a 9 to 5. That you don't find time to think. You don't find time to exercise your mind. When, when you reach home, you're so tired, you fall asleep. Some people, they have to drive so far to go to work that by the time they reach home, they, they, they are tired and they are fall asleep. Then they give you the kind of food with the GMOs to keep you tired, to keep you sick, to always put in the sleepy mode where you just fall asleep. You know, sometimes the, the people who do not believe what we are teaching and they will go to their so-called church and by the time they sit down, they start sleeping. They don't even have time to even read their own Bible for themselves. So there's a pastor who have all the time in the world collecting their money and then the pastor is repeating, uh, translating the Bible for them, explaining the Bible the way that they want to hear it. And he's doing it for them because they have etching ears. But my brother and my sisters, my encouragement to you is that you are the master of your own destiny. You are the Lord. You are the author and finisher of your faith. And faith is understanding how to create and how to create consciously by understanding everything that is seen was for us unseen. Teaching you that you can feast upon the invisible and make it visible by putting action to that which is invisible. So faith is loyalty to the unseen. Be loyal to your inner self. Be loyal to the invisible. Because you are a spirit having a human experience. You're not a human trying to be spiritual. So don't fool yourself with church. Don't fool yourself with religion. Leave the self-righteous alone. They are self-satisfied with their condition. When you open your business, you need employee. You can employ them. Okay? Because we need balance in our society. So we need masters and we need servants. So don't go about worrying yourself, trying to change others when there's no one to change but yourself. So my brother and my sisters, this one I'm bringing to you this is the true gospel because the gospel can mean good spell because every word that is coming from our mouth is a spell so when they when a person joins himself to a certain religion and you understand the divine of reproduction that every seed and every species reproduce of its own kind you will realize that a Jehovah witness can bring forth no other than a Jehovah witness because that is the spell that has been cast in and they are going and they're sitting under that enchantment you come to realize that a seven-day Adventist could bring forth nothing else but a seven-day Adventist because that is spell that they're casting and the people are coming under that enchantment. You come to understand all these things. That is why when I speak, I speak of being limitless. When I speak, I speak of being infinite. When I speak, I speak about being the author and finisher. I speak about being the alpha and the omega. I speak about being the wise master builder. I teach you that God is your I amness. For God, for the name of God is the I am from generation to generation, and it's your memorial. I teach you also that prosperity is your birthright, abundance is your birthright, and there is no end to that prosperity and abundance. Not even death, because death is a continuation in another uh, uh, department, uh, another compartment in, 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 in the great mansion called life. So my brother and my sisters, everything is here to teach us about ourselves. And until you discover yourself, which is your higher self, your true self, you will never know that you are the author and finisher of your feet. You are the creator. You are the Lord and master. So as I say, being the author, put it to writing. Put it in writing. That when you manifest it, no one can convince you that you didn't create it. So go ahead and create your 
world. So with that, Mr. Amabar and my sister, I want to thank you very much. I feel so good and I can feel the energy that is coming forth from me and I know that you are resonating with this message. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment and to share this video if you believe that as it reaches out to you, you're going to reach out to others also. Let me remind you also that this message I bring to you is a single eye. Message of self-realization of what Matthew 6 22 says if your eye be single your whole body will be full of light And had not been my brother and my sisters that the single eye has been open within me When I awake within myself like a fiery being and ascend up on high having heard the unearthly wind Both my crown chakra and exist above my skin and understand why the eye is above the pyramid and understand from your shoulder up is a pyramid and from your shoulder to your waistline is a pyramid and from your waistline to your sole of your feet is a pyramid and it's the tree of life and when you eat from the tree of life and discover your higher self your eternal self you are on your, your way back to where you came from because you come here for a purpose and you have to know where where you come from and why you are here and where you are going but if you do not exercise the power and knowing that you are the author and finisher your faith will not build higher and higher so with that being said my brother and my sister that's the reason why i always give you the symbol of the single eye and say don't be afraid of the single eye don't let anyone tell you it's some all-seeing eye or some devil because there's no devil outside of yourself for if there's no enemy within the enemy without can do you no harm so my brother and my sisters when you come to have the experience you come to realize that it is the rising of the s-u-n in a s-o-n and that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. And then you will know that it is a lie when they try to teach you of a S-O-N called Jesus and tell you that he is the light of the world. How could a S-O-N exist before there first be the S-U-N when the S-U-N is the giver of all life? And you will come to realize that the sun parallels the human imagination. Human imagination parallels the sun. For without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And, for, and without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And you're told in Psalms 84, 11, that the Lord thy God is a S-U-N, a sun and a shield and no good thing. No good thing will he be told from you. No good thing this way. Ever the sun shines up and it brings forth in abundance. And in Malachi 4, 2, you're also told that the sun, the S-U-N, of righteousness shall arise in you not outside of you in you with healing in his wings and we all came from the sun we are the people of the sun therefore my brother my sister my encouragement to you is to use your mind power your solar power your creative power your god power to achieve your every desire and prove for yourself that you are the lord and master the author and finisher of your faith. So that means I want to say peace, love you all. I'm out with joy and peace.